Hey guys, what's up? This is Phil back with another lesson in the After Effects course. Today we are continuing our dive into three-dimensional video editing and one cool thing that After Effects allows us to do is actually put a camera into our composition so that we can actually create camera moves as if this was an actual video shoot and you were shooting on a three-dimensional set. So let me show you exactly what that means. First we're going to go up to Layer, New Camera, and then you get this dialog box with all sorts of options. They have some custom options for different lenses that you know that you can use and each one has a different um, a build, different depth of field so things will be more in focus than others um, depending on where they are in the space of the in the 3D space of the composition uh, some are more zoomed in, less zoomed in uh, the f-stops are different, I mean totally uh, completely customizable um, so let's just do a standard 24 or we'll do a 35 millimeter lens and then press OK when you add that to your your composition it will show up down here in the timeline as another layer if you drop down the menu and you you'll see that there is the transform tools and the camera options the camera options these are what we just kind of went through and picked but you can customize them here as well and then the transform is pretty much similar to other you know the standard uh, transform tools from a no normal layer so you have your position your X Y and Z rotation but you also have orientation and point of interest so point of in interest is more where the camera is pointing and position is where the camera is set so um, let's take a look at how these changing these values will affect this composition. You got to make sure though that your layers are in 3D so make sure this cube is checked and um, because if not the camera will not affect those layers. So for example let's go point of interest um, and if you, you will notice point of interest um, will move up or down or left or right. And that's basically as if you were um, panning the camera to the left or right or up or down. Similarly is the position, so you're moving the camera in or out um, and by moving it in or out you also get some rotation from this camera. So it's kind of tricky uh, understanding all the different movements of these different options right here. So the Z rotation, so see this is the Z position of the camera and by moving it you will zoom in or out. But for the uh, X and Y you're basically moving the camera down and so it's creating this effect that looks like the text is rotating. It's as if you were, um, the, the text was on one level and then you just move the camera down another level and it's like if you're looking at it from below or from above and then same with the, the the X position now it's like if you're looking at, at it from over towards the right or over towards the left so um, that is the position function Let's go through the rotation. So rotation will basically rotate the um, camera in a different way than the position. And it's basically rotating, it's similar to, it's more like rotating the composition. So you can rotate left or right, um, you know, around in a circle. And this is just a cool way to add motion to your compositions. Um, orientation again is another option for um, rotating the camera in your environment. 
So let's go ahead and actually look at this in our practice that we did last time. We have this 3D composition. So let's go layer, new camera, and this will allow us to see more of the it in action and what it really means. So let's go to their transform tools for position, for example. We zoom in, and it actually is zooms in as if you were on camera on set and zooming into this it's not just doubling the size of this composition it's actually moving things forward in a natural way you know you can you can see here as you rotate it's not just rotating the entire um, composition in a flat manner but the clouds are dipping down behind the doghouse as you rotate up or upwards or downwards. See how the sun peeks up be underneath the clouds or over the clouds as you do that. See now the, the sun is about level with the clouds. If you rotate it more or less, the sun is above the clouds. And it just looks a lot more natural that way. Same with rotation. You know, similar. And see here we have the um, blue background is not in 3D, so it does not change with the camera. But if we turn this on, then, well, first you would have to make sure this, this, the sky is behind everything. So we'll put it behind everything, put it at like, I think 2600, we'll be, put it behind everything, and then the size we'll put right here. So that looks fine, but then when we rotate the camera, the sky disappears as well. So that is why we put our sky as a non 3D layer. And so, let's see, point of interest again is kind of changing the point of where the camera is pointed at. We can zoom out. And all these things are animate, animatable. Uh, I just made up a word right now, but you, you can animate any of these options. Um, so, for example, we can zoom in, so let's put a keyframe there for position, go to the end of the composition and zoom in, and we render this out. And we have a camera move while the dog is moving as well, and the sun and everything, so that looks even more, you know, dynamic. And this is way better than if you didn't have a camera, you would have to take each layer individually, zoom in or increase the size to make it look like it was zooming in. But now we just have this camera that we can basically do whatever we want with. We can even add sort of a rotation to it. Let's see what type of rotation we want. We want it to maybe to the left or right. Yeah, so something like this. So we'll set the Y, we'll just set both rotations there. And then over here, we'll rotate it to the left. So check this out. So it's kind of like a pan and zoom the whole time at the same time. So that is pretty cool. And you can see where you can start to, to uh, you can start to see this animation coming alive. Cool, well, this was, like I said at the start, a very packed uh, packed episode, tutorial, so I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, please let me know, um, but until next time, have a great day, and keep trucking it. Uh, do keep practicing, and I'm sure you're getting a lot better at your After Effects. Bye now.